Now I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Basically, it's just going to prime my eyelids and get them ready for any eyeshadow that I apply to them. So I'm just going to get some right there. I'll move a little closer to you. And let me put this here so I can see. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply this with my ring finger all up to my... Um, all the way up to my crease from my eyelid to my crease but leave the brow bone blank because we have to put a different primer on there because I find that the paint pot doesn't really work good for my like on my eyebrow on like my brow bone and stuff I don't know I just I don't like it at all because like you can kind of like see the hair on it I don't know it's weird and it actually kind of like flakes a little bit kind of creases okay so once your eyes look like this and they're all evenly coated with that just apply your other favorite primer, something a little bit more cheap because, I don't know, you're not going to like waste a good primer, but I just decided to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And what we are going to do is just take a little bit and dot um, this on your brow bone like that. And then take your ring finger and just kind of blend this in, but make sure you're not getting like um, your eyebrow. Just get below um, your brow bone. Okay, what is next? Okay, then I start my eyeshadow. So, I take my Naked Palette by Urban Decay. It just looks like this. Mm -hmm. And I go in with this color right here. This is called Half Baked. And basically, it's just a gold kind of color. I really, really like it. It's my favorite one. And I use it every single day. Like, there's not a day where I really don't use it unless I'm not wearing no makeup. So, I usually take this uh, random, like, flat shader brush. And I just go into the color like this. And then whatever I have on there, I just tap off any excess. And then I just go ahead and apply this closest to my lash line and then work my way up by feathering it out. So, from the sides. Can you see Rach? Yeah. Okay, and then I just repeat the process and do the same to the other eye. Okay, so when your eyes are gold, gold is my favorite color to put on the lid, and basically like a pearly white color would be the only other option. So this is like good for me. I really, really like it. And now I'm going to take Naked right here, which is just this like light brown color. Um, yeah, it's just a light brown, lighter than buck, as you can see. So there's definitely a difference between the two. And I'm just going to take this crease brush. I got this from Target, actually. It just looks like this. And I actually really like it. It was only like a dollar, so yeah. I'm just going to work this into the crease of my eyelid. And I like to start from the outer portion and just work my way in like this. And I really get into the crease of my eye. And then I kind of buff it out toward my brow bone a little bit right here so I'm not fully in the crease. So I kind of smoke it out a little bit if that makes sense. So. And then you just want to go ahead and blend this out. I like to blend it with this just so it gives a little more smoky. And then I just take this fluffy um, blending brush like this. And I'll just go ahead and blend that a little bit more. And then sometimes I'll just take like um, the crease brush again that just looks like this. And I'll go into the color of Buck which is right there. It's a deeper darker brown than me. Naked, hold on. <laughs> okay, and I'll just put this toward the outer corner of my eye. This is really going to smoke out the look and kind of make it a little bit more deep. And then you're just going to repeat the process to the other eye. So I'll just kind of do this a little bit more quick.
And sometimes when you do it a little bit quicker, I know this might sound weird, the smokier it comes out, well for me at least. So I'm just kind of filling in my outer V. So it'll just <coughs> deepen up to look a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take another flat shader brush that just looks like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go into this highlight color called Virgin right here. It's just a light highlight color. And I'm just going to get some on the brush, tap off any excess. And then put this below my brow bone. Doing this is going to help um, prevent like any harsh creasing that you may have had. And it's also just going to highlight your brow bone, make it look and appear a little bit bigger. So yeah, to get under here too. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with this color called Sin. And we're just going to get this on like the tip of our brush. And go in our inner corner. Oh my god. That was okay. like, I didn't know it was going to crack that much. I just want to see this to see if I need a little bit more gold. Okay. Um, I need a little bit more gold toward the center of my lid, so <laughs> I'll just take the flat shader again, go in with the color Half Baked, and spray it with this e.l.f. mist set. I don't know, you can use water or like an eye makeup remover. Anything that's going to make the, um, the brush wet. And you're just going to kind of put this toward the center of your lid, and do you see the difference? Yeah, you can totally tell. And then I just like to kind of pat this. And then with my blending brush right here, I'll just kind of blend this out. Just so there, like you can't see the difference between the two. So I'll just kind of go back in, fill it a little bit in, and then just do the same to the other eye. And I, sometimes I don't really need to spray it twice because the brush is still wet from when I applied the spray. So I'll just kind of do that. And then, okay. So now that it's done, I like to curl my lashes, and I just curl them with this curler by Revlon. I've had this for a really long time. It's like my favorite curler ever. And I'll just give them a few curls until I feel like they're curled enough. Okay. Itchy nose. And then I take my e.l.f. mascara primer. I got this a really long time ago. Oh, itchy nose here. The application is white, so I kind of like it because it looks like you coated every single lash and like you know you did. So then I'll just kind of apply this. This takes like the longest for me because I love doing like my mascara and stuff. Okay, these need to be a little curled a little bit more. Okay, now I take my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. This is like my favorite mascara ever and if you guys can like see the wand. Here, wait one second. You can focus it. Okay. Have you been focusing Yeah, now stuff? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead my lashes Oops. <laughs> uh -huh. So if this happens, you just take a little Q-tip, I just wet it, and then with my saliva. <laughs> Do you ever put mascara on your, um, on your bottom lashes? Yep. I'll get that in a second.
I think it just like changes the look of your eyelashes so much when you do the bottom. Like I yeah, to, it does. I used to not do the bottom, but now I definitely do the bottom. My hand is getting tired. <laughs> okay. Now I just go back in and just kind of coat the bottom lashes. I go lightly because I don't like to get any mascara like underneath that if that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So now that that's done, I usually would do this in the beginning but I totally forgot. But I'm just going to apply, you know what, I'm actually going to like wipe my face. I'm just using this because this is like the last one I have left in here. But it's the Yes to Blueberries um, facial moisturizing whatever it is. Not moisturizing. I don't even know. It's just like a makeup remover wipe. And then since these tend to get a little bit wet, I'll kind of just wipe that off. And then I like to take my facial moisturizing lotion with SPF 15 oil free from Target. And I just kind of pump some like that onto the back of my hand. I already did this this morning, so... I don't really have to go like overboard, but I need to just start dotting that all over my face. And then with my fingertips, I'll just um, blend this into my skin. This is really going to help it. How, how much time are we up to? 12 minutes. Mm. Wow. <laughs> just really going to blend this into your face. And it's going to make it a lot more moisturized. <coughs> oh, poo. Okay. You just recurl those suckers. I really like my eyelashes. Nice and big. Okay. I'm going to show yeah. this work quick now. I'm going to be taking Hula Bronzer by Benefit. <laughs> Let's go quick here. Mm. And then there's just this angled brush. I don't even know. I just dab some. It's so hard to go quick when you're doing makeup. And I'm just going to start contouring. Really lightly. Okay. Then I'm just going to take this coral blush. It's Coralista by Benefit. Now I'm just going to take this Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips, and then I'm just going to actually go with this, like, brush, and it's, like, a really tough, hard brush, so... Oh, I have that. <laughs> I'm just going to cut Not it. the brush, the shadow, eyeshadows. Shimmer yeah. I like to use the top, uh, like, three or two for a highlight. And then I fill in my brows with this Maybelline Brow Powder in light brown with an angled brush. This is from Icing. I think it's an angled eyeliner brush, but... And just, I fill in the beginning where they tend to be sparse. And then with my spooey, I just kind of brush them out. And then I also brush my eyebrows, I mean my eyelashes out. And then take my baby lips and peppermint and just set them. <laughs> it might sound weird, but it's just like a wax. And then I just brush through them to shape them and make sure they're not like greasy. Okay, my nose is really itchy. Okay, so this is the completed look. Here are the eyes. Awesome. I really, really like it. I think it's so something that you can wear every day. And the last step is I take this Pure Lessie Lip Comfort and just apply this all over my lips. And this is the like the makeup that I usually wear on like a lot of my videos and stuff like that. So, oh, I'm really itchy on my nose. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and for more, remember to comment down below and subscribe. So, bye guys!